What we can do now that we're inside the category, you can see the top there, categories and products, and then software training DVDs. What I want to do is I want to create a new product. But before I click on new product, we're going to choose the type of product that we want to go and create. Now, we don't have enough time to get into all this, but there's a variety of different kinds of products, product types that are possible here inside Zencart. Now, most of the time, you will probably be going with product general, and that's the, the, the product type that I'm going to go with here. So I'm going to go with product general, and then I'm going to go new product. Okay, great. That brings us into the new product screen. Now, if you want to scroll down a little bit, have a look at all the different options that we have here. Basically, what we have is this massive web-based form that we have to fill it, right? So here we go. Again, I'm going to zip through this fairly quickly, and I'm only going to fill in the fields that are absolutely necessary here. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here. Product status is in stock, definitely. And the product name, go ahead and click inside that field. Now, you can use different products. It's entirely up to you, but I'm just using some other uh, DVDs that are available from 10tonbooks.com uh, as my uh, uh, sample products here. So I'm going to go 10 ton CSS fundamentals. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. And for product price net, I'm going to go ahead and put in the the price of the product, which is $49, so just $49. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. Let's see here. We have a product description. I'm scrolling way down here. Product description. Now, bear with me here. Here's what I'm going to do. I've already created a product description for this product. And whether you're using your own product or if you're following along and doing the exact same thing that I'm doing, you're more than welcome to use my product description. I'm just going to hide my browser for a second here and go all the way down to my desktop into my project files folder and we have a text file called 10 ton css description and i'm going to go ahead and pop that guy open okay there's our product description i'm just going to hit command a here on the mac or control a if you're on the pc side to select everything and then i'll copy it command c or control c again if you're on the pc side and I'll just flip back over to my browser and just paste that product description into the product description field here. So Command V on the Mac or Control V if you're on the PC side. Okay, there's our product description, great. Scroll down here a little bit. Products quantity, inside that field, I'm gonna throw in a fairly large value, a thousand. And what else do we have here? I think that should just be about it. Oh, um, product shipping weight. Um, I'm going to throw in uh, 0 decimal 2, and sort order is going to be 0. That's the default. I think we're good here. Now, what I want to do, though, too, is I also want to add an image uh, to, this, uh, to this product here. So where we have product image, I'm going to go ahead and click on choose file. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to my desktop into my project files folder inside this pop-up window that appears here. And there's my product graphic, 10 ton CSS fundamentals, boxartlarge.jpg. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that guy and then click on open. Okay, great, awesome stuff. Now that we have that set up here, way down in the bottom right corner, I'm gonna go ahead and click on preview. And there's the preview for our new product. I'm going to go ahead and click on insert. Okay, so there's our new product that we just added to the software training DVDs category. Okay, so again, it's a little bit involved to actually put all this together here, but let's go and view our product now inside the storefront. So I'm going to flip back over to my storefront and I'm going to refresh Command R or Control R, by the way, is a neat shortcut, or you can just hit your page reload there. There's our new product right there underneath the new products box there or inside the new products box. Let's go ahead and click on them and that'll take us to the product page, the product uh, description page, if you will. So every single product that you add to your store is going to have its own unique page, right? There's the description that we pasted in 
There's our graphic. There's the price, $49. There's the name of the product, right? Notice the category there, software training DVDs. The number of units that we have in stock the shipping weight that we added in there. And notice all these extra buttons here, add to cart, write a review, tell a friend about us, this sort of thing, right? We can even view a larger image if we want to. There we go, there's a larger version of our graphic. Pretty cool stuff and pretty straightforward, hopefully, to add in a, uh, a test product to your store. So I encourage you to explore around a little bit. You might wanna explore through your categories if you wish, you might wanna back up and check out your software training DVDs. You might even want to go and add in another sample product as well. I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to go and add in a second sample product.